Good morning, ladies. Um, this is Carrie again. I thought I'd do a, or try to do a quick uh, tutorial. Never done one before, so bear with me. Um, at least not in video, anyway. I've written tutorials, but um, I made these little um, mini albums recently out of some uh, envelopes that I bought on eBay. I bought 75 of these envelopes. Um, I'll show you an unfinished one in a second. And they came with all kinds of um, clock parts and things in them. And so I made a couple of minis out of them. Uh, one is this one. And one I gave to um, Mrs. McCabe Scraps, Alex. We did a swap. And um, I should be getting my package today. I'm excited. Uh, but she really liked the one I sent her. And commented that she thought my fingers must hurt after making it and they don't um, I'll show you uh, how I do that it, it's really easy it's not a big deal at all um, here are some of the the little envelopes they're just these little things and they came with all of these um, winding stems and some springs and things in them I've got just a bunch of them and if you've seen my ATC videos you'll see what I use some of the winding stems for and I have um, uh, uh, some more ideas for those too but so anyway so those are some of the envelopes and then some of them were uh, really teeny tiny folded up so I unfolded them and I just used these to to uh, decorate the cover just decoupage those on the cover and the cover is made with um some really light chipboard that came with like scrapbook paper it was like it was a 12 by 12 and I have cut it up obviously for a few things so um so I'll show you how to do that in a second how to measure out and everything so the first thing I do is is I just cut the tabs off of all of the um, envelopes that I want to use and it doesn't have to be perfect exact the same on all of them I don't care anyway um, I can always even them up later I think I'll do five exciting right Okay, so, and when you're using one's envelopes like this, you see the bottom um, isn't glued anymore. I'll re-glue that and fix it. Um, and also, no, of course, they're not going to be acid-free. So, be aware of that, be aware of that when you uh, put stuff in them. So, at this point, I would take my whole stack of envelopes. See, they're not even, so I will trim them up at the top and then use my um, my circle punch, hold it this way, and punch like that so that I get a half circle. So I'll be back with that in a second. Okay, so the next step is to then take your um, envelope after you've cut the half circle like I showed before and um, I'm just using some um, rusty hinge distress ink Tim Holtz um, and a makeup sponge and I just go for it to the front and back And then I use my big bite to um, to set the eyelets, and I have it. How am I gonna do this? I have it um, set where I want it. Alright, 
So I'll punch the holes and I'll set the eyelets in a minute, but here, so that's what they look like. They're all set that way. And then, um, and then I cut out my, uh, chipboard piece and I, what I did was I measured the envelope, which was, I believe, two inches and so four total plus a little bit because I wanted it to overhang on the ends and then same thing with the width. I made it just a little bit wider than the envelope. And then I will um, use probably a glue stick and or um, Mod Podge and glue bits and pieces of the label on different labels on all over the place and I'll score in the center to make my uh, binding my um, make the folds for the front and back cover um, what I use to really get my um, labels really stuck on is this veneer roller it's for like wood project woodworking projects for veneer and I found it at Goodwill for 59 cents so I mean this is basically paper veneer so um, so I just press it down real hard you know instead of a brayer like a lot of a bigger brayer like a lot of people use this one works really well for me so um, that's what I do and then I punch holes and set eyelets in the center and string it all up so I'll have one more video showing the end of that okay so <clears throat> I cut the chipboard I um, glued pieces of label on um, I um, inked around the edges and set my eyelets in the center scoring um, first to make my fold like that okay so I made it a little bit bigger than my envelopes so that um, it'll cover them better. My first one, I didn't think to do that. I did the exact same size so as the envelope. But um, then all I'll do is string yarn or, or um, ribbon or something through the holes. I'll do two pieces, one piece through this set of holes and one piece through this set of holes and then um, tie them both together so four strings together then out these holes and that will it'll be all done okay so I just put my ribbon on a um, yarn needle pull it through That's one piece. Pull the other one through. Get them somewhat even. <coughs> Excuse me. This is really hard to do with a camera in my way. Hold on. So I want this to be the front, so I'll do it like that. And I'll do the same with the other side and um, tie it up. Okay, so I finished tying it up. I could trim those down if I wanted to, but I like them long like that. So, um, And then all I would really need to do, obviously I could decorate the pages more and um, cut uh, tags for the center or for the inside of the envelopes. So... So really there's nothing to it, it's just mainly setting the eyelets and decorating the things how you want. Um, the measurement of the 
cover could be a little tricky. I, I don't know what I was thinking and made it look way too big and had it all done and went, wait a minute, that's not right. <laughs> Cut it off and, and re-inked it and I'll use this for something else. So, um, so that's my little mini and my first, uh, tutorial, which was okay. <laughs> not a complete disaster, but definitely learned how to do it better. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.